Oh, we will. This is Brady here to review the Ultraman Blazar DX Blazar Stone 07 Invisible Invincible New Generation set. So, this is the final uh, annual Blazer Stone set. Which, first of all, I don't understand, because why did you end on an odd number? Why seven? And also, you can tell it's the final set, because they expanded the packaging. I hate this. <laughs> um, so, this set comprises of Zero Beyond, the storage... I think it's just called the Storage Stone. Um, King of Victory. Orb Spatium Superion. Trigger Sky Type. And Regulos. And like... I get why they expanded it this way. In width and not height. Because they want to keep the consistency of the box and such. I just don't like it because Ultraman typically does a good job at keeping their packaging consistent even when they add more items like because typically for the most part they do have enough space to like hold all of like when they add in more when they add in more. But I, do, I don't get why like I get they felt the need to keep this thing consistent. But, like, they easily could have, with the packaging they did have, they easily could have just crammed in six. But they really wanted to have this portion. And I, I apologize for not even showing this up close. But, um, again, here we have Blazar, Fedoran Armor. The stone's not even in this set, which I, I don't mind it's not, because... Again, it probably would have infuriated more people. <laughs> um, and this is also yellow, too. The back, again, it's restructured to showcase all six of these stones. And the warnings and cautions and such. Alright, so here we have the stones out of there. Packaging, uh, the packaging. So let's take a look at these one by one. So here's our main stone for the set, the zero stone, zero beyond, or is it just zero beyond stone? I don't know. This is a really nice color scheme, and um, this is our third zero stone. But Zero is one of the few that actually has all of his forms programmed. So we only have half of them. Or three sevenths. Anyways, um. <laughs> I think this is the same situation as like some of these other ultras where it's like. Zero Beyond is like acceptable to be like in this lineup. But there are ones that are actually his like final form. But again, they're only categorized in, like power up forms. But like what I said, this is like a really nice color scheme, especially because um, Zero Beyond is always represented with purple. However, uh, because there's already a purple stone in this set, they chose pink. To which I think this is one of the again. I think Belial was also one of the other few that actually was. Not Belly old Jeed. Jeed and Belly were also technically pink. So it's kind of nice to just see those ones actually back. But track. This one is B089. I don't know why they didn't make this one. <laughs> um, the main one. I, even though it is an oddity. So this is what, again, this is the storage stone. But uh, we have Savenger representing Storage. It would have been cool if they found a way to have all four uh, Storage custom. 
robots on the stone, but, you know, just having Savenger here is neat, I guess. Uh, you know, he's just a normal stone with him in silver. I don't know why they chose green, but I guess we needed more green stones. Track, and this one is B225. So this one's pretty far. Continuing our lineage of power-up forms, here we have Ginga Victory, which makes valid sense. And for the first time, Ginga Victory is represented in yellow. Because Ginga Victory is either, for the most part, they always choose green. But again, I guess because there's already a green stone, they chose yellow. <laughs> And he is B101. First of our oddities, here we have Orb Spatium Zaperion. <laughs> Which, I, it makes sense to put out an Orb Stone. Because this, this set is basically the best hits kind of thing. But, yeah, Orb Spatium Zaperion is in this lineup. Even though... I get that, like, like, I don't know, I still, like, Space Team's apparent is still a base form. <laughs> but, I don't know. I, I like this color scheme, though. I like the gold under purple. Really nice, Sorrel. Just, again, a weird choice, but there is a reason. B106. This one, honestly, is more baffling than Orb Space Team Zaperion. Trigger Sky Type. They really wanted a Trigger Metal. Trigger Stone. <laughs> Which, like, I mean, I like Sky Type, but, like, and it's just the traditional light blue, which I don't agree with. This should have been the standard blue cover, which I just, I think I realized we never had a stone that shade of blue in a while but I don't know honestly this could have been Tiga <laughs> B139 and our Abagari somewhat considered new generation ultra of the set um Regalos which is pretty cool um he is Again, he is a different shade compared to Zero Beyond and Orb Spaceium Zaperion. I think he should have honestly been red because I think his Dimension card was red, but uh, they chose to they chose the lighter shade of purple for him, which is interesting. And he is B one forty eight. So I think he's, is he after reboot? No, he's not. I, he's after someone. Probably one of the Decker forms, but let's use these in the Boys Are Brace. So using Zero Beyond. Come on, why are you not working? <laughs> I finally remember what that means. <laughs> so there we have the transmission for Zero Beyond. It's honestly, it's honestly actually nice hearing the full version of that again, after just hearing the instrumental constantly. I keep forgetting that the sound is longer than the animation. But again, uh, this one is just two sounds. The grunt. And the phrase. I remember what that, like, I mean, what I mean by, I remember what that means. Like, it's just him saying I have no limits. Because for the longest time, I've been trying to figure out what that is. <laughs> what it was. The storage stone.
So we basically have the Blazor Brace standby with Haruki and Zet's uh, lines overlapped. So that's obviously that's not different. It's just the Z original transformation. However, it's with the button sounds that are new. So there we have Savenger, Wyndham, King Joe Storage Custom, and Ultraroid Zero, and such. So it's really nice that they uh it's really nice they finally got a toy that got that sound out because I think they've had this sound since trigger. <laughs> and you know, it's a cool way of getting a nice way of basically having those kaijus released because they are as we already covered Wyndham. The four of them are individually programmed to here, but like it's just a lot smarter just to release the stone just to get them all out. Ginga. Victory? So we have both Hikaru and Sho with the Ginga Sparks standby. Sorry. And we have Ginga's animation with Ginga Victory's transmission. This one actually does have a finisher. Carried over from the Dimensionizer. So it's really cool to actually have those two in there. Now, with Orb Spatium Zaperion. We have no guy phrase, we just have the Orb Ring activation. There we have the transmission sound for Orb Spaceium Zaperion, specifically from the Ultra Replica Orb Ring, because of that additional end part. And interestingly enough, they actually took in the consideration of changing the animation, which is cool. <laughs> so it kind of actually made me respect this one a bit more. However, that's our only sound. We don't have the. Sperion Colson? Yes, yeah, Sperion. Because Spacium and Sperion combined. Trigger Sky type. This is basically what you should expect from Trigger Truth. Sorry. <laughs> Obviously, that's carried over from the premium version of the hyper key and such, with the type changing sound and such. I think the grunt is actually different. And obviously, that's not anything new. Last but not least, Regulus.
just like Grigio, Regulus doesn't have a rise sound. Again, that was carried over from Decker. And then the finisher, there, he at least has a finisher, the Genju Haoken. I, I don't know what it, I don't know if that's his, I don't, I assume that is his individual finisher, but I'm not going to be surprised if it's the one he does with Astra and Leo. I don't know why I switched the two. So admittedly, I kind of grown to appreciate this set a bit more. <laughs> Because I personally did not like this set at first. Like, this set, I thought was just kind of like a mishmash of things and more of a, like, you're going to hear me say this a lot, but like, basically, these last few sets are going to be like, oh, shoot, we need to get these sounds out, which is like a fine, like, I, that's kind of the attitude I kind of prefer for these toy lines from the start because obviously of how much shorter they are and such but again the choices here they're kind of weird but at the same time i think i've kind of like they make sense when you look into like the blazer brace and such and again it's still pretty consistent with what the other sets have done because obviously they're still trying, like, they're still continuing the lineage of, like, power-up stones and such. I just don't... The only thing about this set is, like, why is this set the last retail set? The last numbered retail set. That, I think, is what the biggest issue of this set is. Because clearly, like... The fact that this one has six stones... Like a Gashapon set. I don't know why they decided to go all out on this. Like, I mean, it's not that I don't know why. I do know why they did. Because they made this set the last one. Which doesn't make sense. Because Decker had up to 8 Dimension Card sets. Excluding the EX, like the 2 EX sets. I don't get it. <laughs> Why end on such an odd number? They could have made the last of these. They could have made another set of six. So then, EX selection didn't have to have a, such a bad lineup. <laughs> because, like, the set obviously because of the fact they removed the Ferdoran stone. I feel like they struggled with like with trying to what ma trying to find what made this set relevant and such because like if you know how like things are or, like or what to pre-program in the Blazar brace you can kind of clearly tell why they chose certain stones and such and so, and like we've covered as to why like with the, I think honestly, the coolest stone out of this set is the storage stone. Even though this was like, at first when this set got announced, I thought the stone was stupid, and I've already said it. It's just, it's honestly pretty smart because they knew, they knew that okay, we're not gonna bother re releasing the individual kaiju stones of the storage robots, especially because Wyndham. Has already been released in seven, seven set. So we're just gonna put out. So we're we're actually just gonna bother and actually just utilize this sound and such, which is cool. It's like cause if it's the final, if this is the for this being the final numbered set of the toy line. I'm happy they actually bothered putting out a special sound. To actually make it like worthwhile and rewarding and such. And you know, again, going over King of Victory and Orb Space Teams to Parion, again, I like King of Victory I was always fine with. Orb Space Teams to Parion. Again, aesthetically, I just don't get. <laughs> but like, you know, functionality-wise, 
like, this set does at least do a good job at, like, rewarding the consumer of, like, you know, thank you for buying all the other sets. Now here's something, like, worth, like, rewarding and such. Because, basically, you know, getting a victory, you know, basically adds on top of, like, what we've already had established with Ginga Victory. So it actually does still feel new. And then with Orb Spacing Zaperion, like, it, it, it doesn't do much. Like, obviously, that's, the sad thing is that it just doesn't do much because I don't get why they didn't program a finisher with it. But, like, other than that, like, I appreciate programming-wise that they actually went through the effort of just giving him the generic special, uh, rise animation and such. And not just slapping on the Orb Origin one. Like, that's cool, though, with or Like, obviously, like, I don't, I get why they programmed Space Needs of Parion, and, but, I, they're better choices. <laughs> and... Obviously, Regals is, like, fairly solid overall because, again, it makes sense. They put out Reboot in the last set, so you might as well put out Regals. And, like, it would have been cool if they actually updated Regals the sounds from the D-Flasher slash the Dimensionizer. I think it's the Dimensionizer. <laughs> I think the... I don't think the D-Flasher actually had sounds from Regals, but... You know, it would have been cool if they actually updated the sounds, but... Oh, well. Like, cool. Regulus now has his first actual retail legend, or, like, legacy item. Because I think his Dimension card was premium. Again, the genuinely the only oddball of the set is Trigger Sky Type. <laughs> because the only way to make this more... Like, the only way to make this at least make sense... Is if they actually put out Tiga Sky type. But I understand that it's not a new generation hero. So they went with Trigger. But like. Like I get they wanted a representation of like. Obviously we want a representation of the last few years. Like Zet, Trigger. No Decker. Because I guess Regals took his spot. <laughs> but like again I. I, I can't blame them too because they already put out Glitter Trigger Eternity and Trigger Truth. But I don't know why Trigger Truth isn't considered. Again, like, you have Ultimate Shining, Ultraman Zero, and then Trigger Truth, which are forms I think should have been considered as power up forms, but are considered just as normal stones. And then we have ones like Orb Space Team Zaparion that's considered a power up. <laughs> And then what we'll cover later, which again are valid, but it's just like, the choices are weird. But, ultimately, I don't think this is a bad set. I think it's fine. It's, it's odd. I think that's the best way to summarize it. And such. Obviously I got it off HLJ, up uh, man, because of... It's two more stones. I think it's fifteen dollars now, but if you can't find it there. Just find it like in the secondary markets and whatnot. You don't need it because again, it doesn't have any in show stones. But like, if you're a fan of any of these, then like I suggest picking it up. Or if you want to finish up collections of stones, then go for it. Because again, you. You finished orb. You finished orb stones with this because there's only four programmed and such. It, yeah, <laughs> this set is just an oddity. <laughs>